Right guys, this is a very cool subject. So a couple of weeks ago, I done a video on the W12 Bentley powered Bentley engines, Audi A8. You lot seem to love that video. And today, I've just bought two cars off of one car trader. They're both interesting. I might do a video on the other one. I'll let you know later on in the video. But uh, this thing here is one of the cars. It is a high mileage V10 diesel VW Touareg. Touareg? It's actually called a Touareg, but we'll just stick with Touareg, yeah? Let's get on with the intro. So here it is, my latest purchase, a 2003 53 Reg VW Touareg. I'm just more, sorry if I call it Touareg. People that's going to offend people. Touareg just sounds a bit, I don't know, it sounds a bit French, doesn't it? It's a five litre V10 diesel engine. I think it's about 305 horsepower. Let me just, let me just check. I've written it down in my notes. 307 brake horsepower, 550 pounds feet of torque, 750 newton meters, and 2.7 tons in weight, guys. I think this is. This has got to be the heaviest car I've ever driven. I suppose the engine contributes to most of that weight, uh, but it's so nice, it's a V10 engine. Like V10 is obviously a huge engine. Last time I had a V10 on the channel was my Audi R8, and that's kind of what you'd expect to see in uh, an Audi R8, but you would not expect to see a V10 in a family uh, SUV. So my M5 over there, that's got a little V8 in it, a little baby V8 compared to this, it's, uh, yeah. It's obviously a black car, it is a bit of a banger. I'm not gonna talk it too high. This was gonna be the banger of the week, but I bought this, uh, like I said earlier, as a pair. And I think the second car, that's gonna be the banger of the week. Providing that don't sell before I managed to film a video on it, that is gonna be the banger of the week. But yeah, as I was filming the cinematics there, uh, I had the engine running. You can see down here, we've got a little, little oil patch there, guys. And as we wander around it, we've got chrome, bit of chrome here and there. I think I would black that out if it was me. We've got a chameleon wind screen. I am not a fan of chameleon windscreens at all, but do you know what? As you stand here and look at that car, I think that looks pretty cool. Looks, looks gangster, doesn't it? I think the sort of person uh, that would drive this car would be a bit of a gangster. Up to no good. He's got a chameleon windscreen. He's got blacked out windows, black wheels, black car, and uh, he's got a nice big boot as well. Uh, if he wants to fill it up with bodies or whatever in the back there, he's got plenty of room. So as we come around the back, we've got quad exhaust pipes. That looks very nice. The tow bar don't look too clever, uh, but it has got a tow bar as well. I suppose it's the right car to tow uh, a trailer or a caravan or something. It's just pretty, you probably wouldn't even notice you've got it. It's got these huge rear lights. Like look at the size of them rear lights and then a little V10 TDI badge. There. Just reminding you that you've got that big beast of an engine under the bonnet. Now I am going to rush to walk around the section of this video because my hands are froze. It is very, very cold today, guys. Bit of wear on the switches there. You'd expect that because of the mileage. I'll tell you the mileage in a sec. Save a bit of suspense for the mileage, guys. Uh, the seats, I quite like the look of these seats. Like, well, I remember years ago when these cars come out, I wanted one of these cars. I used to obsessively look at these cars on Auto Trader and think, wow, I like them seats. I do really like them seats. The steering wheel is quite a sort of a, a prestigious looking steering wheel as well. Prestigious, is that even a word? It's definitely not a word. But yeah, I quite like the look of the steering wheel. Very, probably in theme with the car, not a sports car steering, but it looks pretty cool. And that bloody gear stick, look at that. It looks like they've stolen out of a Boeing 747. That is a seriously cool gear stick as well. Center armrest, cream leather. We'll talk about specs. We're gonna pull up HPI as well in a sec. And then we will go for a drive in it as well. And probably if we get time, we'll do draggy times in it as well. What I really wanna do, jump in the warm, start the engine and go through HPI, all right? That's it, music stops. Let's get the engine started. It's got like a dash mounted uh, ignition barrel. How cool is that? <laughs> sounds all right, sounds all right. I'll get them heater fans turned down. Fuel light is on, guys. Oh my God, the fuel gauge. The fuel gauge. Let's quickly talk about that. Let's get these heaters turned down first. I thought, yeah, we've got loads of fuel in here, but it's sort of swept the whole way around and then gone over the full tank. Uh, so, yeah, I've, there's definitely something wrong with this fuel gauge, uh, but I have just put a jerry can in it because I'm a bit unsure about whether this thing's got fuel in it or not. I don't know. The fuel light is on, so I would assume that we're near to empty. So maybe when we go out for a drive in a sec, 
I'll go to the petrol station. So yeah, this is, uh, it kind of was meant to be the banger of the week, but I don't think it deserves to be called the banger of the week, although it has got high mileage. Should we tell you what the high mileage is now? Is that hair looking all right? Sunroof, by the way. Talk about spec in a sec. It's done 162,000 miles. Now, I don't think that's too bad, but with YouTube videos, some people are like, that's horrendous mileage, and then other people are like, that's nothing compared to my dad's taxi or whatever. So um, yeah, I, I think that's quite high mileage, but it ain't too bad. It has got an oil leak. But it looks all right. It appears to be quite a nice car. Ain't too bad. Bit of wear on the switches and the stuff, like I said earlier. It's got a D-badge front grille. Aftermarket head unit here. I don't know why anyone would have changed the head unit for this thing here. Maybe it does a bit more than the original one does. I don't know, but I don't really like that. Bit of wear on all the switches here, uh, but full of mileage. I don't think it's too bad. And then talking about wear, actually, the wear on that driver's seat for 160 odd thousand miles. That ain't too bad at all, is it? So, yeah, I'm quite impressed with it in general. So, let me quickly pull up the HPI, quickly fly through that, guys, because I know you love a little bit of HPI talk. Quick screen recording. I'll put it up on the screen for you as well. Here it is, then. So, this car is actually HPI clear, which is pretty cool. Uh, VW Touareg, uh, V10 TDI Auto, nine former keepers, uh, blah de blah we know all of that sort of stuff. 4.92 litre engine. Uh, H5 spec check, let's quickly talk about that. It's got 1.5 stars on the spec check. This car was £49,785 new. It had 1,635 quids worth of extras. Uh, and if we look at the optional equipment, it's got the Atheo, 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 Atheo. Um, I don't know how you pronounce that. Atheo alloy wheels, 9 by 19 inch wheels. Uh, they've obviously been painted black. They were 940 quid as an option. Uh, sunroof, electric glass, sunroof, £695. I think that's an absolute must on this car. Uh, diamond, black pearl effect. I'm guessing that's the bodywork. Looks very nice with black paint and pure beige Nappa leather. The black body with the Nappa, beige lab Nappa leather looks really good. They, they combine very well together. Quite a nice car, very comfortable inside. That's that for the spec. We then go to National Mileage Register. It hasn't been clocked, which <laughs> just as well, really, because if it had been clocked, it would have horrendous mileage. Uh, glasses valuation, cap black book. Let's look at black book. Uh, live today, the retail value of this car is 2495, okay? According to book values. That is completely wrong, because if you go on Auto Trader, the cheapest one on Auto Trader, I'll bring it up now, that's it there. That car there is £5,750. It's done 113,000 miles granted. I don't think that looks quite as attractive as this one, but that is a 56 plate, so it's a few years newer. But yeah, they start £5,750. Yeah, we'll talk about that other car. Uh, let's just see if it happens, yeah? I paid just shy of £3,000 for the pair of them, so it was a bargain. The other car is also quite cool, I think. Uh, we'll soon find out. Uh, but what we'll do now is we'll head out on the road, so I've not actually driven it yet. We literally bought it this morning, gave it a clean up, notice it's got an oil leak, and I decided I need to do a video on it. So let's hit the roads and see how well it drives. Oh my god. Obviously it's a full drive, yeah? And it is a damp day, but I'm pretty sure all four of these wheels are trying to spin. It's got a serious amount of torque. I think I remember um, Jeremy Clarkson doing a review on one of these cars when, like, when they first come out, and I'm pretty sure he said something along the lines of he can feel it bloody pulling the tarmac off the ground or something like that. I, don't, I can't remember what his term terminology was. The world ever stops spinning and they need a car to get it started again. This is it. But basically give you the impression as a viewer that this car has got a serious amount of torque and trust me, from a driving point of view, I can, I can vouch for the fact that it definitely, definitely has. It feels mega quick. So as I rev it, or as I revved it earlier, you'll probably notice that it is puffing out a bit of smoke. Um, but it is a big diesel engine, isn't it? And as I as I drive now, I can see a bit of bit of smoke out the rear view. Nothing too horrendous. But the main thing is, it is pulling like a train, boys. That is addictive. Even as you accelerate, the front end lifts up. It's brilliant. So what we'll do now? Quickly cut to getting some fuel. Oh, it's freezing. Why did I not put my woolly hat on? By the way, woolly hats are um, <laughs> hashtag on it, on it all the time. They are now back in stock on my website, calvinscardiary.com. If you want to treat yourself, keep your head warm. I'll put a link for them in the description below, all right? See if the light comes on now. So now the fuel light doesn't come on, so that would assume that we were very low on fuel before, and uh, we're no longer low on fuel, all right? I did notice there's a button here, push buttons. Yeah, because I stopped it earlier. Let me just see if 
I can start the engine with that button. With that. It's keyless go, guys, on a 53 plate car. That is wicked. So you don't even need to have the key in the ignition, guys. Put it in your pocket and jobs are good. That's it, and we are heading out of the petrol station. We've got an electronically adjustable steering column as well, guys. This car is unbelievable. I was just trying to look for fuel economy because I was looking at videos this morning on these cars like reviews just get a bit of knowledge so i sort of at least look like i know what i'm talking about there's a guy online who reckons he's getting 30 miles per gallon out of his v10 touareg which is unbelievable mpg and i just wanted to see what this one's averaging oh there it is uh since the start of this journey i've averaged 4.3 miles per gallon that's probably because i'm flattening it flat in the foot ped uh the throttle pedal everywhere i go so it's no surprise at all it's like every red light wants to get me at a minute. Should we just cut to the draggy scene section of the video? Before we do that, let's just floor it again. This thing <laughs> absolutely flies. Like, considering the age and the mileage and the type of car it is, you know, it's a big engine, you'd expect it to have loads of problems. Uh, it's driving really well. The fuel gauge is now showing half a tank. Maybe that does work. So, yeah, the, uh, the car that I kind of wanted to compare this car to, like draggy times wise, is the W12 uh, Audi A8 that I mentioned earlier, that done it in 6.12 seconds. I think this car, it's gonna be loads quicker. Like, surely, this car is proper quick. Surely this has been remapped. They can't be this quick from standard. This is a fast car. So it's a 20 to 70 mile an hour test. Uh, let's just cut to that seat now, yeah? 20 to 70 mile an hour. Traction control lights flickering. 6.12 seconds to beat. I'm getting overtaken. Done. By a two series, one series, one series coupe. We've got a bit of wind coming through this um, window here. Bit annoying. Let me look down at the time. That is not actually as quick as I thought it was going to be. Oh my God. Uh, let's let's do a couple more, yeah, and I'll come back to you in a sec. Right, guys, so the draggy times are complete and the quickest time I've done 20 to 70 mile an hour in this car was 6.79 seconds. I actually can't believe it. Like, I thought this would absolutely kill the W12 Audi A8. Like, that was a fast car, don't you run? It was a quick car, but it was a bit, um, not loads of mid-range. And this car just feels like mid-power. It's, it's unbelievable. And it's just done 6.79 seconds. I think that puts it like down near the 250 brake Audi TT and the Kia Pro C GT. That's just, that's not too impressive at all. And um, I think it's the first time I've been so baffled about draggy times. But the, the car itself drives perfect. Um, I, like talking on the plus side of the car, it drives per perfect. It feels quite quick. It feels very quick super quick um, the gearbox is spot on like there's no issues with the gearbox so mechanically overall it is I'm quite impressed with this car and I, I actually quite like it for a lowish budget car I say lowish I suppose nowadays five grand don't get you a lot the summary of the uh, the Touareg is averages 7.8 miles per gallon if you drive it like the way I've been driving it in this video uh, it's fast but it's not actually fast uh, but it is a great value for money car. So if you want to find out what car I bought as a second part of the deal when I bought this car, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I will try and get a video filmed on that over the next couple of days and get that up very soon. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did like this video, do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Instagram if you're on Instagram, and I'll see you in the next video, all right? Bye. The second car I bought as part of this deal was a Skoda Fabia VRS, but sadly it sold immediately, meaning I ain't got a video coming on it.